welcome to my channel okay let's just get one thing out of the way before we start have you subscribed yet if you have great if you have not i'll give you two seconds to click on the subscribe button just down there below fantastic let's get right into today's video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to sew together this pussy bow shirt in my previous video not only did i give you a backstory as to how i ended up wanting to sew this shirt I also showed you how to make your basic shirt pattern as well as the pattern for this shirt. So be sure to check that video out first before watching this video. Now I used this beautiful organza fabric to sew this shirt and it was a nightmare to press and that's just because of the detail on the shirt. However, the output was well worth it. I also sewed it together with a French seam and that's because organza fabric can be quite rough on the skin and sewing it with a French seam makes it easier to wear. Now this shirt can be worn to work or not. I however changed one thing in my pattern video and that is how the cuff folds just at the inseam. I also added two strings at the sleeve which is purely optional. I just did that to give it some versatility if I wanted a tight sleeve at some point. Now sewing this, I started off thinking that I had the perfect color of thread, sewed a few stitches and it looked a little bit different. I ended up finishing the shirt with the thread and in all honesty, I like the output. Okay then, enough talking, let's get right to it. Now don't forget to turn on your notification button, leave me a like or a lemon and also drop me a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. My name is Ijeoma and welcome to my sewing diary. The materials you will need are your completed pussy when you're done pinning to create a crisp fold line. Now, organza fabric is very delicate, so you should test pressing on a scrap piece of the same fabric first. I found that I can use my iron directly on some organza fabric by really lowering the temperature of the iron. In this case, however, I pressed mine by placing a piece of square cotton fabric over it and pressing down, and this is because of the detailing on the fabric. Then measure and fold in 1 inch from the just pressed folded line on the wrong side again and press down to create another crisp fold line. Do this on both sides, take off your pin and then insert two of the long 1 inch wide strips into the 1 inch folded space and pin shut at the inner edge like so. Remove all excess strip fabric at the top and bottom if necessary. You're going to be stitching down at the inner edge with a 1 8 inch seam allowance. Gently press down with your seam iron when you're done. 
then now we start our fencing. For those of you that don't know what this is, it basically means we'll be sewing each seam twice. So with wrong side on wrong side, join the front and back bodies at the side and shoulder with pins and then stitch with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. This will make your seam show on the right side of your fabric. When you're done, go ahead and enclose the quarter inch seam allowance with the same seam on the right side of the fabric such that you can no longer see the raw edges. Pin the enclosure together and stitch down on the wrong side with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So this is pretty much how a French seam works and how we'll stitch the entire shirt for most parts. Do this for the sides and shoulder line previously sewn. Next, hem your shirt by first measuring, folding, I'm pressing half an inch in from the hem of the shirt and then fold it over again by half an inch, pin and press to create crisp fold lines. Go ahead and sew this down with one eighth of an inch seam allowance close to the inner edge, pressing down afterwards. Then it's time to prepare the extended neck piece. So placing right side on right side, Place the two neck pieces together and pin down. Now you're going to be pinning from where your center front reference notch was made on one side through the top part and all the way to the same point on the other side, leaving the actual neckline on the extended piece unpinned. You'll not need to French sew this bit because you'll be enclosing it, so go ahead and stitch all pinned areas with a half inch seam allowance. When you're done, whatever you do, do not trim the raw edges. Just go right ahead and turn your piece inside out and press down. Trimming will make the raw edges free very quickly. I learned that the hard way. At the point where you have started and stopped your stitches, snip very close to the sewn line without cutting through. This will allow the seam allowance of the neckline stand out. Then go ahead and pin the neck piece to the neckline on the wrong side of the shirt and from one center front to the other. And then sew in a French seam when you're done. Next, prepare your cuff by laying two pieces together wrong side on wrong side and sew the bottom together on both pieces with a French seam. And then join the open ends together, wrong side on wrong side, and sew together with a French seam, setting aside when you're done. Prepare the actual sleeve by first pinning wrong side on wrong side of each sleeve sides together, and then sewing with a French seam as we've been doing. So this part is purely optional, but as I said earlier, I just wanted to add these strings at the sleeve for versatility. So if you're with me, go ahead and cut two long strips of one inch wide fabric or four short strips of one inch wide width. I couldn't find my square piece of fabric and had to cut two long ones. And then with right side on right side, sew each strip together with a half inch seam allowance. Remember not to trim off your seam allowance when you're done. Afterwards, using a safety pin, go ahead and turn each strip inside out like we've done before. Now I ended up cutting my two long strips into four short strips. They should be able to go around your arm and tie in a bow very easily. I also tied one side of each end. Then we'll be joining all three sleeve pieces together. So starting at the side seam, Go ahead and join one cuff, two strips, and one sleeve on the wrong side of the sleeve with pins. The cuff will not have a wrong side, and the strips will be joined facing the right side of the sleeve and sticking out like so. And then sew together with a French seam. Do this on both sleeve pieces. Mm -hmm. 
When you're done, sew a loose basting stitch at the head of each sleeve with your needle and thread, leaving the start and end of the basting stitch untied and with thread hanging. This is to allow you to gather the head of the sleeve so it fits in the armhole of the shirt. And then gather your sleeve head slightly at both ends. And now it's time to insert it into the armhole. It took me a while to figure this out, so listen carefully. So first, ensure that the correct sleeve is matched to the corresponding armhole by matching front and back notches on the sleeve to the front and back shirt on each armhole. Then turn your sleeve inside out so that it is at the wrong side and insert it in the corresponding armhole such that it's touching the wrong side of your shirt and the right side of your shirt is facing you. Match notches and pin round the armhole, adjusting your sleeve head with your basting thread so that it fits into the armhole. Your pinned area will be on the right side of the fabric. Go ahead and further hold the sleeve to the armhole by basting round. Do this on both sides and then sew with a French seam afterwards. With your center front together, go ahead and mark your bottom hole and bottom spaces. I marked these by first marking half an inch down from the front neckline and then each subsequent mark was 3 inches away from the previous. Transfer these marks to the other side and then sew your button on the left hand side and your button holes on the right hand side. So don't be like me and sew larger button holes than your actual button. Please use the size of your button. Had on my bigger button holes, my sewing machine was out to get me on this day, I promise. And you're done! My pussy bow shirt is as cute as a button and will be one to work as well as any other place I want to wear it to. Now don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification, like and leave me a comment. Until next week, see you later. Bye!